Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to create the container using the bind mount and also with the hyphen V option and also with hyphen hyphen mount option. In our previous videos, we have seen how to create the containers using the volume mount. Now here we will try to see what is a bind mount. I already told you right, in order to create the bind mount, we need to give the absolute path, not the relative path. And for this one, let's try to uh, I will try to open the notepad so that I can I will explain you the syntax for this one. So now here if you try to see it, I'll make it yeah. So now to create a bind mount, okay. So we can use two options that is nothing but hyphen v and also hyphen hyphen mount option. So to create a container with a bind mount using both the hyphen v and hyphen mount options in Docker, you need to understand how each option works and they use and then use them accordingly. So let's try to. I will try to tell you the example for this one. So here, first of all, when you try to create a container, Docker, container, run, and you need to give hyphen D, okay, and hyphen V. So this is the option we are, which we are trying to give. And here you need to give the absolute path, something like slash nginx data or something like this. You'll view and to which one it needs to target. So to path share slash nginx slash html okay so like this you will give there is a slash so now you will be giving the name and followed by the image name so this this is the example now if you want to check with the hyphen hyphen mount option so this will give more detailed syntax and greater flexibility compared to the hyphen v it requires specifying the type of mount and in the and the source path and also the destination path so for this one you will be having docker container run hyphen d and hyphen hyphen mount and first you need to mention the type is equal to bind and next you need to mention the source is equal to uh, the path that is nothing but absolute path so slash app data or something like this and you need to give the target okay so target is nothing but uh, <coughs> what i can say is um, user nginx okay and the last one is the hyphen hyphen name container so the name container you will provide it and the image name so these are the things which you will be need to provide so these two, these two are the syntaxes let's try to see the practical implementation of this one so i am opening the mobile xterm so this is our thing and for this one what we need to do it is so here for creating the container let's understand so here i will be using docker container run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name Let's try to check whether any documents existing or not. So right now we are having two documents. So okay, Docker container rm hyphen f nginx maybe nginx hyphen container and the another one is try to see nginx hyphen container is there. Another one, what is that you are having? Jenkins LTS. Okay, Jenkins hyphen container. We are having another one is Jenkins hyphen container. Yeah, I have deleted. Now let's try to check whether any. So none of the things are there. Now, sorry. Yeah. So what I want to do it is. So let's try to create the Docker container. Run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name. Nginx hyphen container. I will try to give Nginx hyphen container. Okay, I will be using the hyphen v hyphen v option, and for this hyphen v option, I will be using something like. Now here you need to understand. So here I need to provide the absolute path. So that means so normally what you will try to do so you will give nginx hyphen data. So that means it will try to check that nginx hyphen data is available in the slash var slash lib slash docker slash volume. So that is the place where the volume mount will be added. But here we need to give the absolute data. So that means nginx hyphen data. You can give it directly like this. Okay. So now we need to give what is the ID, uh, data it is adding. So user slash HTML slash nginx slash HTML. Okay. This is the thing it should. And I need to give directly image name. So automatically it will be created. Okay. Now if you try to check the curl. 172.17.0.2 now you will not able to so here we are able to see the output for this one so now if you want to check the data here cd slash nginx hyphen data now you will be able to see 
the data it is existing okay so if you try to see the data so the data is not there here but how we are able to see this data curl 172.17.0.2 okay so this one is so let's try to uh, check the container docker container ps sorry docker container ps okay so this is the container docker container exec hyphen ti um, nginx hyphen container and i will be using executing the bash now let's try to check the cd slash user slash share slash nginx slash okay html so here we are having the html okay fine so this is how we will be creating using the hyphen v option now how using the hyphen hyphen mount option how we can do it let's try to check it docker container ps hyphen a okay so now what i will try to do it is so okay we need to exit it here yeah so now i will be trying to create the same thing using the hyphen mount option so docker container run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name nginx hyphen container 2 i am using container 2 and here i will be giving hyphen hyphen mount option and first one is the type is equal to bind i need to give and next one is source source i need to give slash app data i will give slash app data so that means it will be created in the docker host machine not in the where slash lib slash docker the same thing it has happened right and using the volume mount also now what i will try to do the target target is equal to slash user slash share slash nginx slash html okay and the last one is read only if you want to give the read only means so you can give it something like read only there you can use colon uh, argo so now here i can give nginx that's it so invalid mount so here this is the raise, this is the thing you need to understand so error response from the event invalid mount config for type band bind source path does not exist so if you try to observe in the hyphen v if the folder doesn't exist means it has already directly created this nginx hyphen data okay so if you try to come out okay it has already created the nginx hyphen data so you will be able to see somewhere nginx hyphen data it has already created but whenever you are trying to check this one okay present working directory okay so this one is the root path so nginx hyphen data has been created when you are using the bind mode but when you are using hyphen hyphen mode means if the folder doesn't exist it is not creating okay it is it is telling that the folder doesn't exist whereas the hyphen a hyphen v if the folder doesn't exist or the directory doesn't exist it will directly create the directory now what i need to do mkdar app hyphen data i am creating so permission is denied okay so let's try to do it with sudo test one two three four okay so now what i will try to do it is actually we don't have the permission so that is the reason it is having sudo hyphen i okay so let's try to do it so now what i will do it is so the same thing jenkins uh, not jenkins sorry so let's try to create the docker container run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name nginx hyphen container to hyphen hyphen mount <coughs> type is equal to bind and the data which i want to use it is the um, source is equal to slash app hyphen data okay and the target you can use the destination or dst anything you want you can use it slash user slash share slash nginx slash html okay and if you want to use you can use read only okay and you can use the nginx now that container has been created now let's try to check it curl 172.17.0.3 so you will be able to see that it is has been forbidden so why it has been forbidden is so now whenever you are trying to create a mount option app iphone data so now by default whatever the data is there in this app data the empty data has been inserted into this directly into the user slash share slash nginx html before that what it has happened the data which is ever is there it is uh, in the volume mode the data has come into the app iphone data but the, here the app iphone data whatever the data is there it will be shared into this one so that means what i need to do it is i need to go to the app iphone data okay so cd slash i need to go to the app iphone data and here i can create something like vi index.html okay i can add something like 
h1 uh, welcome to bind mount okay slash h1 and if i close this one save it and if i try to run the same command that is nothing but curl now you'll be able to see welcome to bind mount in the same scenario using the hyphen v option also it also happens the same thing docker container rm hyphen f nginx hyphen container i am removing this one okay so now let's try to create it docker container or otherwise i will try to use the same thing where is this docker container yeah instead of this one i will use nginx data which we have already created okay so we need to use this uh, hyphen v option right i will try to use this hyphen v option so that you can able to understand very easily hyphen hyphen name nginx hyphen container and i will create hyphen v option okay slash nginx hyphen data okay and it should be colon slash user slash a slash nginx slash html and if you want uh, read only means ro that's it so now you created the container now you will try to access curl 172.17.0.2 i think yeah you will be able to see forbidden so for this one what you need to do it is so now here um, cd nginx hyphen data you will go it and create vi index.html i will try to create it here so now you will be able to see that h1 welcome to bind mount with v option okay i have created it like this let's try to close this one and i will save it and if i try to check the same curl option see now we will be able to see welcome to bind option with the v option bind mount with v option so this is how the bind mount actually works so you need to understand that whenever you're using the volume mode means the content whatever it is present in the user slash share slash nginx slash html it will be copied into the volume mount but here the bind mount data whatever it is there it will be copied into there so right now we have we are creating empty folder means the empty folder directory data is copied into that html so that is the reason index.html and all those things are gone so that is the reason you will be able to see a 403 forbidden means the file doesn't able to find it so this is what about the bind mode. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.